Welcome to another Throwback Thursday. Today, we're going to look at the 1916 textbook called Rural Arithmetic. And we're going to find the volume of a frustum, or actually find the number of gallons of cream a churn will hold, whose upper diameter is 8 inches, whose lower diameter is 12 inches, and whose altitude is 16 inches. But before we go too far, let me explain what we're going to do. Now, here's an example of a frustum. What we're going to do is we're going to find the volume of the large cone, then the volume of the small cone, and then we're going to subtract it to find the volume of the frustum. Now, how exactly are we going to do that? First thing we're going to do is we are going to do our best to draw a cone. All right. From our picture, we know that the radius on the bottom of the cone is six centimeters. When we go up eight centimeters, the radius then turns into three centimeters. Maybe you can see it, but now we have a right triangle. And I'm going to redraw it here. We have six, three, eight. And we don't know from here to here, so we're going to call that x. Now, when we're talking about the large cone, we're talking about the whole thing. So to figure out the height of that big cone, we need to figure out x. And it's actually really easy. All we're going to do is do similar triangles. Now, I like to talk about the large triangle over the small triangle. So the large triangle, I have a base of 6. The small triangle, I have a base of 3. The large triangle, I have a height of x plus 8. OK, now I'm looking at this whole thing for the large triangle. And for the small triangle, I have a height of x. From here, cross multiply. 6 times x equals 3 times x plus 8. We're going to do the distributive property. 6 times x is 6x. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 8 is 24. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. So 3x equals 24. But we want, don't want to know 3x. We want to know x. So I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides. So it turns out that x is 8. This is 8. Don't get confused. Just because these are both the same doesn't mean it's going to work like that every single time. Now let's look at our formulas. The formula for the volume of a cone is 1 third pi r squared h. 1 third times pi. Now the radius of the large cone is 6. And the height is, well, what is that? That's this whole thing right here, which is 16. 8 plus 8 is 16. And then they multiplied it, left the pi there. The small cone is the same, but now the radius is 3. And the height is simply 8. And they end up with 24 pi. Finally, they take 192 pi minus 24 pi. They used the calculator and the long pi number. 602.88 minus 75.36. And that turns out to be 527.52. And if we round it, we're going to get what they have, 528 centimeters cubed. Now, this is what we're going to do for our 1916 question. You're probably asking yourself, what is a churn? And what does it mean by cream of churn? And what? Well, here's a picture from 1897. It shows a woman sitting outside on a woman bench reading a book while operating home butter churn. So basically, they put the cream in there and they just kept going up down up down up down up down until they get butter and you notice there's a little kitty who's having a really good time licking up the butter let's look at the question again find the number of gallons of cream a churn will hold whose upper diameter is 8 inches whose lower diameter is 12 inches and whose altitude is 16 inches we're going to draw that picture and i'm just going to draw the churn first it tells us that the upper diameter is 8 inches. Now that's kind of a trick question, right? Because we don't want the diameter, we want the radius. So hopefully you remember that half of the diameter is the radius. So this is actually 4 inches. And then on the bottom they say the lower diameter is 12 inches. Once again, we don't want the diameter, 
we want the radius. So this is going to be 6 inches. And they tell us that the altitude or the height is 16 inches. We need to draw our cone. And let's just fill in what we know. We know that this is 6 inches. We're going to go up a height of 16 inches. And at that point, the radius then is 4 inches. I'm going to go all the way up here. Let's draw the triangle. All right, I'm going to go over a little bit here. I'm going to redraw this triangle. This gives us 6, 4, 16. But we need to know this. And so that is going to be our x. What's really cool is we have similar triangles. It doesn't matter if you do little triangle over big triangle or big triangle over little triangle. Let's do the large triangle over the little triangle. We're going to put S for small. Large triangle has a base of 6, and the small triangle has a base of 4. The large triangle has height of x plus 16. Small triangle has a height of just x. And now what we have to do is just what we did before, cross multiply. We're going to take 6 times x, and that equals 4 times x plus 16. 6x equals 4x plus 64. I'm going to subtract 4x. We end up with 2x equals 64. But we don't want to know what 2x is. We want to know what x is. I'm going to divide by 2. So x equals 32. So what is that telling us? It says that this distance is 32. And the whole height for the big one is 32 plus 16, which is 48. Let's go to our formulas. The volume of the large is 1 third pi r squared h, 1 third times 3.14 times the radius. Now the radius of the large one is 6 squared times the height, which is, which is 48. All right, let's use our calculator. And we end up with 1,808.64 we're talking inches, so inches cubed. Now let's find the volume of the small one. It's still 1 third pi r squared h. 1 third pi times the radius. Now the radius is 4. 4 squared times the height. And the height we figured out is 32. And just to remind ourselves, we're going to use 3.14 for pi. And that turns out to be 535 .8 nine three three now the first one is to two decimal places so that's what we're going to do this one 535.89 inches cubed now to figure out the frustum we need to subtract those so we're going to take 1808.64 minus 535.89 and we end up with 1200 72.75 inches cubed. Now let's go back and look at the question again. It asks the number of gallons. Oh my goodness. So now we have to go back down here. And I had to look it up. And it turns out that 1 inches cubed equals 0 0.004329 gallons. That means we're going to take 1,272.75 times 0 0.004329. And what do we get? 5.5097 gallons. Let's just round that to 5.5 gallons. Find the number of gallons of cream a churn will hold whose upper diameter is 8 inches, whose lower diameter is 12 inches, and whose altitude is 16 inches. And we ended up with 5.5 gallons. And thanks for hanging out with me on this Throwback Thursday.